Hello and welcome to Wall Street Training short video tutorial on how to install our WST Macro Add-in Toolbar for both Excel 2003 and 2007 for the PC. First, please direct your web browser to www.wallst-training.com, which is Wall Street Training's main website. On the left-hand menu bar, you shall see free resources. Please click on it. Scroll down until you see technical resources, and the first menu option is our WST Macros Add-in. The current version number is always displayed, so you can check the version against your specific version that's been already installed. We'll also show you how to upgrade as well as delete the macros. You can either right click and hit save target as in which it will prompt you to save the zip file that opens up which contains the Excel XLA add-ins as well as several other PDF instruction files. In this particular case, I shall hit open and then it prompts me again to hit open or save. I'm going to hit open again. The Windows version of controlling zip files is now open. If you have WinZip installed, it will most likely open up in WinZip or some other compression program. In that specific case, you would either need to extract the XLA file, the WST macros file, onto your desktop to copy, or you can simply try to see if you can select it and hit Control C to copy or right click to hit copy. Whatever you do, please make sure you do not accidentally open the file and you do not double click the file. This will open up the Excel add-in file in Excel, but it will open up with a macro security warning prompt which you want to avoid. We will get around that by installing it the correct way which is a simple copy and paste. Again, I'm going to right click and hit copy to copy this file. At this moment, now, you shall please redirect yourself to Excel. I shall start off with first Excel 2003. Please hit the following keystroke on your keyboard. Alt. T for tools and then I for add-ins which shall open up the tools add-in dialog box. Please hit on browse, click on browse and then in the explorer shell that appears this big empty space you may right click and hit paste. All you've done now is successfully copied and pasted our WST macro XLA add-in file. You can either double click this file or single click to select it or hit OK. In either case Please make sure you are now back at the add-ins dialog box in which WST Macros appears, checked, please hit OK again. In Excel 2003, how you know you successfully installed our macros is the WST appearing next to the help in the menu on top. You can always click on WST, about WST to see the newest and the current version that you are working on. In order to access our menus without the key mouse, you shall use your keyboard by hitting Alt-S. Alt-S opens up the WST because the S is the accelerated key that is underlined. And by hitting Alt-S and then for instance letter F, you shall now be able to access the different plethora of macros available to you. Now, let's turn our attention to Excel 2007. If you are working on Excel 2007, you shall follow a similar set of steps. After you've successfully downloaded the macros, again similarly, you shall right click and hit copy. In Excel 2007, you will hit Alt T for tools, and then notice that the Office 2003 access key appears. This is because Excel 2007 now uses a what they call a ribbon instead of a menu. Continue to hit the letter I as you were in Excel 2003 to access the same tools add-in dialog box. Again, this is exactly the same process as Excel 2003. Now you may click on again on the Browse, right click in the Explorer shell in the middle and hit Paste to successfully copy and paste our macros. You can either double click or you can hit OK after selecting the macro to s install it. And now WSC Macros appears at the bottom, checked, hit OK. The difference between Excel 2003 and Excel 2007's native add-ins is that now a add-ins menu option appears in Excel 2007 on the upper right. By clicking on it, you shall now see the WST macro fully installed. To access the add-ins dialog box in a Wall Street Training macro without the mouse and by only using your keyboard, you shall now hit an extra letter, Alt-X for X-Ray, which accesses the add-ins, and then S for Wall Street Training and then followed by the next series of shortcut keys as you please. In order to delete or upgrade our macro, follow these instructions. I will demonstrate this in Excel 2003, but the process is exactly 100% the same in Excel 2007. 
First, open the Add-ins dialog box by hitting Alt-T I again for Tools Add-in. The WST Macros option is checked, so please uncheck it and then hit OK. This is a crucial step. After unchecking the macros, you must hit OK. This effectively uninstalls and removes the WST macros from Excel's current memory. Notice that next to Help, the WST option has appeared. To fully remove and delete all traces of the macro, hit Alt-TI again to access the Tools Add-in dialog box. Notice that WST macros appears at the bottom and is unchecked. In this case, hit Browse. When hitting Browse, you shall see the current WST macros add-ins that has copied into your add-ins folder already. You may right-click and hit Delete and say yes to send it to the recycle bin. Hit Cancel. You are now returned to the add-ins dialog box again. You've actually deleted the source file as we just did, but now, unfortunately, the menu option is still available in the add-ins available dialog window. By attempting to select or check the WST macros, it says, I cannot find these macros. Do you want to delete it from the list? You may hit yes, OK. And now you've successfully deleted and removed all traces. To install our new macros or updated version, similarly to the full-on installation, after you download the latest version from our website, you shall right-click, hit copy again, tools added, Browse, right click, paste. This is exactly as if you were installing the first go around. Hit OK. And the add ins available now appears with the WST macros checked. Hit OK. And Excel 2003 sees WST next to the help. In Excel 2007, again, as a reminder, it will show up in the add ins menu on the top upper right. And the process is again exactly the same.